they must be Nigerians before Nigeria. Uh, this series of Nigerians first uh, is an analytical attempt to try to reappress the Nigerian journey into leadership so far and proffer some candid uh, solutions. And uh, today we are going to look at um, the one year in office of the current regime under President Bola Ahmed uh, Tinubu. Well, the uh, Ahmed, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's uh, presidency came on board on the 29th of uh, May 2023 with a catastrophic um, uh, economic policy of subsidy is uh, gone. And um, that uh, unpresidential st statement uh, unleashed uh, trauma and uh, hardship uh, on Nigerians. Now, the statement is uh, careless and reckless because, I mean, the president no matter the instinct of courage he appropriated to himself, um, thought more about himself and his comfortable zone uh, instead of looking at the geography of the country. And so he, without consultation, without a government in place, just let loose his state of uh, mind. And that was uh, triggered more with the self-made believer of Mr. President uh, of know it all. And so he needed to, to consult anybody before he will embark on such uh, uh, pol policy catastrophe. So that policy, Nigerians, we are battling with it because it threw automatically into poverty uh, over 70 uh, millions of uh, Nigerians who, by just mere uh, pronouncement, could not afford to feed themselves anymore. Uh, they lost their small businesses, and then uh, they, 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 there is the challenges of insecurity. So those who have lost their farming for too long now have to join the demography of uh, poverty-stricken uh, Nigerians. Now, not too long, the president again in uh, another misguided economic uh, policy statement flooded the Naira and the combined effects of this uh, Bola Mechinibu's policy brought us to where we are today. So in the last one year, uh, to be very fair to this government, it has succeeded in uh, uh, producing more poor people than any government in the history of Nigeria. Now, the government released these two policies without commensurate uh, shock absorber mechanism on the ground to deal with the situation. And uh, that prompted many people to imagine that the government was callous and callous. And I, I, I did not differ from that because uh, President Bola Mechinibu is not a stranger to uh, governors. He's been a, a governor in Lagos for eight years. He's been a senator. So he should have some modest uh, idea of, I mean, the Nigerian, the complex Nigerian uh, political chemistry. But for him to have... Um, disregarded all these uh, 
um, and uh, adapted the IMF World Bank uh, misguided economic theories, which has never succeeded anywhere in the world. And then to reintroduce it in this uh, Gen Z generation uh, is, is, is indeed um, worrisome. So in the last one year, what had President Bola Metinebo succeeded to achieve? For me, I, I think the government has done very well in promoting uh, uh, corruption because uh, in less than seven months in the Ministry of uh, in Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Creation, under uh, Dr. Edu, Edu uh, over 70 billion was looted in just less than uh, seven months. And in four days, there were massive transfers of billions. Over 40 billion was transferred from one account to the other under the watch of uh, President Bola Ahmed uh, Chinibu. That monumental corruption has not been dealt with up till today. Uh, under the same watch of uh, the, the president, uh, corrupt politicians who has heavy corruption allegations hanging on their necks and also hovering over them like the sword of the Democrats uh, are now in charge of the government. And then uh, they move with every cloud of impunity. They are strategically placed. So I am tempted to believe that corruption is one of the credentials uh, to be qualified, to be appointed in um, this government. Now, let us review the term of the government to deal with uh, the issue of the foil subsidy. The government introduced a palliative regime which was also infested with monumental uh, corruption. Because of all the monies released for palliatives, uh, we only had uh, members of the National Assembly gathering, I mean, few Nigerians in their constituencies and distributing a day's meal uh, to them in the name of uh, palliatives. And it, it was also organized in a very wicked manner that it led to the death of so many Nigerians scrambling, scrambling for the palliatives in many um, places. So even the palliative regime has also uh, failed. Now, the government had been uh, appealing to Nigerians, I mean, to sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. But the president and his body language does not have, and his government, entire government, has nothing to indicate that they are willing to sacrifice. If you look at the uh, budget, heavy budget, budgetary allocation for the purchase of vehicles, $2 billion for the president, $6 billion for the purchase of a presidential yard, and then the borrowing of $500 billion and sharing it between the National Assembly, 70 billion, the judiciary, 30 billion, and then the rest appropriated to the executive, the buying of luxury vehicles for ministers and uh, the president's family, the renovation of the villa uh, where the billions are allocated, and then the renovation of um, the state house in Lagos. This all sum up together, give a picture of the type of administration we have in place. So in the last one year, uh, I can fairly adjudge uh, President Bola Nochinibu's government as catastrophic, uh, a calamity, and uh, a political impulsion that had created poverty more than the wealth and therefore in the next one